Welcome back to Genuine Core guys. This is the fourth video in the JavaFX library management system development series and in this video I will show you how to retrieve the previously inserted data from the database. So far we have created the book adding user interface and we have pushed data into the database and let me show you one interesting thing if you want to add one more book I mean if you adding one more book then I give the same book ID as before B100 and I enter something like a uh, junk value and press save you will see that the statement was supported because it would have been the duplicate key value in a unique or primary key so that means the database provides some kind of constraints to the data that you can be entered this will not be possible if you uh, uh, use a file for storing this data unless you sp it specifically program for this kind of integrity because we, we use the book id as the primary key so no two rows can have the same value for the same id so that's great right now if you want to retrieve the data from a database uh, then we have the function called the execute execute query this will return a result set using this result set we can access data suppose uh, let's do that right now so um, i'm going to call a function from the initialize uh, function itself so check data i'm going to create the check data here i'm going to write a command and that will be a query so string q you equal to select star which means all the columns select all the column from book suppose you want or you don't want all the data we just want the title from the database so i am going to use the command select the title from book then uh, uh, we have an object uh, of database handler which is the database handler itself then result set is the return returning object so result set from java.sql uh, rs equals database handler dot execute query in case we are passing a query so execute query then the data the return data can be accessed like this using a while loop we can use as dot next which means if there is a next value in the result set then we want it to be passed into a string variable i mean it is it has to be a title so string title equals rs dot get string so we got rs dot get string and i mean uh, if we have been accessing the boolean value then that will be a get boolean since the title is a varchar it is a string data type so rs dot get string uh, it will not be qu you have to pass the title of the column or the position of the column in our case i am going to use title and this draw some exception so i am going to surround it with the try catch so that's fine sql exception and the title will be read and displayed on the standard output string so that's fine i think we got the title local variable hides up i mean there is already a variable called title so i'm going to give the name title x so that's good right check that out now let us run the program again as you can see we got the name harry potter for uh, fun let us add one more book let it be book two just some values i have no time for thinking a book name so in in, in book id i'm going to give b101 and book author be abcd and the publisher be uh, x y z okay i'm going to press on the save button so far so good the operation was a success then if i go to if i again run the program you can see that uh, there are two books right the harry potter and book two and in the upcoming videos we will be creating a table for viewing all these books and for now that's about accessing the data from the derby database i hope you understood the code uh, this uh, we have created a query then we have executed the query using database handler then we use the uh, while loop for accessing the data until the end and we have access the data during each iteration and one more thing that is missing is the cancel operation when we press on the cancel button we have to cancel the i mean we have to hide the window so for that i get to access the stage object so i'm going to touch on the anger pane and i want to give a name i am going to give the test the root pane that's a great name 
then uh, I'm going to the add book section and I'm going to click on the effect symbol section and make controller so uh, I got the controller called root pane from the root pane I can access the stage let me show you how so uh, I want a stage object so uh, stage stage equal I will have to uh, typecast it because that will be a window that I'm accessing root pane dot get scene which will give you the scene dot get window and this window can be typecasted into the stage object so control shift i for fixing the import then when we press on the cancel we have to cancel it so stage dot close this will close the current stage which is the current window so let's run the code again and we got the data then i am going to press on this cancel button and it is now closed the build was successful so that's it guys uh, so far we have implemented the add book option to add book and retrieve data stay tuned for upcoming videos thank you for watching this video subscribe for more cool videos